It's the first time that an animal, as an animal, as a, as a thinking, feeling being, has existed within a, a theatrical context. It's allowed us to develop a level of expertise in the making of puppets that we would never have been able to achieve without a show like this. What's beautiful about the display here in the museum is that you can get quite close to the horse and you can see the amount of handwork that goes into making the horse. It's, 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 it's pretty much hand-bound, hand-bent, steamed bits of wood that take a lot of dedication and, and love to reach this point. And here is a, is a figure that has worked hard for its, its living in the theatre in the West End and now it's in a place of rest here. The Victorian Albert Museum is the National Museum of Art, Design and Performance. And when you look at Joey, you can see all those three things combined. It's obviously about performance, that's the obvious bit, but it's a fantastically uh, elaborate piece of design. To replicate the movements of a horse is really extraordinary. But also, it's a wonderful piece of art. It's just beautiful in its own right. It's beautiful if you see it on the stage being performed. But I think, as you see it here, it's also simply just a beautiful thing. As the central character is a puppet, it was really important to create a space that was puppet friendly and also reflected the fact that our central character was a horse. So it was obvious to me I needed to create a space that suited the horse, so it was an outside environment, but also was able to move from one scene to the other very quickly and that's when the drawing came in. Having Joey, who is probably one of the most powerful designs, powerful puppets of the 21st century in the gallery whilst the show is still touring around the world is really, really significant. So having Joey here permanently is incredibly important for the museum. We never really thought, never dreamed that Warhorse would go on to play, to play to four million people so far around the world. So to have audiences come in and see what really is a, a work of art displayed here in such a beautiful setting just feels like an absolute dream come true. It's a massive honour, if nothing else, and this is a, a place where people come from all over the world, and for me, and I think for a lot of people, the V&A is so culturally important that just Joey being here is massive, it's huge. For us to be standing next to our horse, uh, basically from Cape Town, in one of the greatest museums in the world, where so many people will come and see it, it's just thrilling.